Well, hello everyone, this is Jason Cisco, and we are live on a Friday and it's high noon and we're taking a risk. We are outside today and uh, there's a little bit of rain that just hit my head. So we'll see what happens. If it passes over, we will um, uh, just stay with it. But if it gets a little bit heavier, I may have to get off the uh, feed and change positions, but we'll make it work either way and it will be exciting either way. I just thought while we had the opportunity to uh, be outside and to be able to uh, enjoy the weather as it is, that we would do that. So this is our uh, high noon broadcast and we are in a new format and we're actually rebranding everything. We're really excited about this direction. We started on Tuesday at 8 a.m. and talking about connecting the global church through our prayer networks and expanding that where we're connecting global church with local church. And then we wanted to make a focus on Fridays where we really focus in on the local church and especially our area where we are uh, where we are pastoring and where we are called to lead, which is Harris County. And so Harris County includes uh, the Houston area plus Pasadena and other parts. It kind of spreads. It's one of the largest counties actually in the world. But wherever you may be watching today, those of you that call Church Triumphant uh, your church family, your church home, we welcome you. We are so thankful to have you with us today. We're going to be just really praying for our weekend, praying for our community, and praying for our families. We have prophetic words that are over our church, and we just want to pray those and bring them into, uh, into the uh, provision that God has promised us. So we're praying the promise until it becomes provision. And then we also have our, our national and international partners which still connect with us and we welcome you from wherever you may be watching from and in whatever time frame or time zone that you might be in. Some are live and some will watch later. We have a couple of changes that we're making. One is I'm doing it on my public page now and we're sharing it to the Church Triumphant page. So uh, those that are on my team are going to be uh, commenting or, or uh, administrating the comments uh, and it will be coming from my feed, but it will be one of my team members that's going to be there helping with that. And we really appreciate Lee Dunlap and all that he has done. He's been uh, just right with me from the very beginning. And other team members will come and go, but he's been very consistent. So I want to do a little shout out to him today and appreciate him. Of course, our whole Lee team uh, is just fabulous and doing such an excellent job in helping us. But today, if you are not a part of our church family, you can... You can focus on your area, your community, your neighborhoods. And as we are praying, you can just change out those words and apply them to your context. Now today, interestingly enough, I am actually not in, uh, in the Houston area. I'm actually in Columbus, Ohio today. And so I am here for a wedding. My niece is getting married and it's really exciting. But you know, we, we pray and we still stay committed to our focus no matter where we are. Oftentimes our lives are hectic, but we make God a priority. We put him first in our life. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to, I'm going to talk about two things and we're going to pray uh, through these different uh, uh, patterns that God has given me because this is still the template. This is still uh, what God has told me to do is to teach the principles and to teach the strategies and for us to pray together. But there's more proactivity that I'm anticipating from you and that I'm expecting out of you now. I've been talking to you and training you and we've been praying together and many of you already had a robust prayer lives before you came together to be a part of what we're doing here. And so I commend you for that. But my role here is to, is to give you principles that will help you to continue to advance, to apply the prophetic to our apostolic functioning and to take new territory, to expand the kingdom of God and to do the will of God. So I'm going to talk to you about coming in and out of spirit worlds, uh, coming in and out of your city, coming in and out of your neighborhood and how you use that as a tool. And just as I'm praying remotely, I'm still focusing in. And so I'm going to teach you how to use the arrow and not just the sword. And then we're also going to talk to you about a prophetic pattern of preparing the way of the Lord. And so this is something that, that we use as 
tools and to unlock all of these uh, principles of faith. So as we get started today, I just invite you now to uh, just align yourself and let's pray together. Father, we just thank you today for all of our Church Triumph and family. We thank you, God, for for those that are young people, for our Triumph youth, for our uh, our. our uh, young adults, our triumph young adults, our young families. God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for for those that are uh, in their stride, in their 40s to 60s, and then all of our seniors. We're thankful for all the different age groups that we have and all the generations that are represented. We thank you, Father, for the mentors and those that are being mentored. We thank you, Father, for the discipleship groups, one, two, three, and four, and for all of our discipleship teachers. We thank you, God, for our lead team and for all of our, our core team, which is all of of our volunteers and our and and those that are, are are working over departments that are not paid staff father we thank you for all of the ministries and for everyone that serves in those ministries we're thankful god for all of the local churches all across the united states and all around the world that are praying we are believing you god for our local areas, oh God, to have a revival, to have a visitation of the Holy Ghost, that there would be a breakthrough, that there would be a, an anointing of the Holy Ghost that will destroy the yoke. And so, Father, we just thank you in this moment today for what you are doing in our lives and helping us to be effective. So we submit ourselves to you right now, spirit and soul and body. We take our loins good about with truth, the breastplate of righteousness, the feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Everyone say, I have the seven attributes or the seven spirits of God that work with me. Say, I have mastery, the spirit of the Lord. Say, I have the spirit of wisdom. I have the spirit of understanding. I have counsel. I have might. I have knowledge. I have the fear of the Lord. I want you to say this now. Say, the gifts of the spirit flow in my life. And the fruit of the spirit is abundant in my life. And so I am here now in Jesus' name, in the eternal now, in the infinite here, the center of one God and the one emotion of love to do the will of God. All right, let's clap our hands. So it looks like we have a little bit of buffering going on. Jesus name. All right. So when you come in and go out, the Bible talked about how David had favor when he went in and he had favor when he came out. Favor when he came in, favor when he came out. And so right now, what we do when we, um, when we are fighting the battle in our local uh, time zone and in our local community, there is that daily press of the Spirit of God. As I come into Columbus, I'm reminding, I'm, re I'm remembering of when we left Milwaukee uh, area where we lived and we then moved to Columbus. We had been in that spirit world. My dad had prayed and fasted and had angelic visitations and there was a great revival and outpouring of the spirit. And I mean, so many things happened. 1,500 people were baptized, 100 people a year in a small church there. Uh, and, and so there, there, was a, there was a lot of effectiveness. It was a battle. It was a fight. It was a war all the time. But it was, it was my, my dad had, had fruit. He had fruit. And uh, the area churches, we had broken the prince of the city over Milwaukee. And many of the area churches were beginning to flourish. And many are growing now. And there's new uh, churches up there now. We came to Columbus. And I was expecting to have that same connection. I'm going to get down. I'm going to pray. And I mean, man. And it was like, boom. It was nothing. And that was just showing me that there's a difference. God's spirit is the same. God's kingdom is the same. God's name is the same. But the hierarchy of hell is different. And so it takes a while for you to be in that particular spirit world and environment. And many of you maybe that are missionaries, you understand this. You come to the States, do your deputation, and then you go out. Or if you are uh, an evangelist, you will travel to different cities as I did. The same thing applies to our local context in Houston. When we came to Houston, the first thing that I did was I said, okay, what, what am I up against? What am I dealing with in Pasadena? What is the prince of this city? What am I supposed to deal with? When I went to Beaumont, I fasted and prayed. What is the prince of this city? Because we learned that in Milwaukee, we learned that there was a prince over a city. And so when I came to Columbus and it hit me, I didn't know how to, I, I didn't know how to function. I had to pray and fast again to dig it out. And so wherever, wherever you might be, you might be one of the small cities around 
Harris County, you might be in Pasadena, South, uh, South Houston, you might be in Deer Park, you might be uh, you know, in Laporte, you might be in Friendswood, you might be in Clear Lake, uh, you might be farther up north, you know, going towards Kingwood, wherever you might be, it, even in those local uh, areas, in addition to the overarching of Houston itself, you are going to have specific spirits that are in those areas. And you even feel it sometimes when you drive across a bridge or you will drive from one neighborhood to the next. You're, you'll see a, a line that, that will uh, kind of, you'll feel that shift. Even in Pasadena, even though it's one city, they call them North Pasadena and South Pasadena. And there's points when you feel that change. All of that, you're addressing in the spirit. You're sensing all those things and you have to be strong strong against it to break us to break something in a city we have to be the opposite of it so this is what we're doing at church triumphant is that we are building up a, a an understanding of what is in our city and by going out to the streets and by walking to the neighborhoods and pouring uh, oil